It seems like the character Eve from Stellar Blade is being banned on Xbox. At least the concept of Eve from Stellar Blade is being banned. I'm talking about the product inclusion standards that have just been established at Microsoft that includes Xbox, the gaming system as well, where they're trying to erase any woman that looks like Eve from any of the video games they have coming up or are about to be to release or about to be developed or released on Xbox. So in a roundabout way, they are banning the concept of having Stellar Blade like characters that are curvaceous and feminine. And I think this is something we've been seeing all throughout the video game industry and still seeing it be imposed on current video games being developed by a major party system like Xbox is astonishing to say the least. And I think looking at these inclusion standards they have for their products it is very clear that they're trying to eliminate everything that has any semblance to Eve from Stellar Blade and this has been occurring in the industry for a long time where a lot of developers have been trying to erase any feminine looking characters from all of their properties and this is all due to DEI ESG policies that have invaded the video game space and have imposed this overall agenda where it's trying to eliminate these feminine aspects for agendas and goals that are not understood outside of the political space and I think that's the problem you have the political space invading the video game space and it's confusing the fans where we're just having constant talk and overall reevaluation of how different characters look and overall arguments about the discussions about whatever chest size or curves on different female characters i think it's become an obsession with people that are in the gaming industry to reduce and restrict these overall aesthetic aspects while gamers are left in the dust not understanding why is this a focal point of a video game developer that is trying to make a game that's successful and profitable to a majority male fan base i think it comes back down to the, the political agendizing that we're seeing occurring in the video game industry is just not the developers themselves it's consultancy firms it's investment banks it's governments it's all these different parts of power groups within society that feel like gamers have too much influence over the social political culture and they see it as a, a point of entry where they have to control what gamers like because controlling what gamers like is controlling what society likes and i think that's why we're seeing this limitations on the overall looks of characters that's why we're seeing the overall degradation of all these female characters and that's why we see stellar blade ascending and getting much recognition because it's going in the face of that societal control and perception where we're uglifying a majority of the characters you can just see it with a lot of these other xbox properties that are coming out and it's clear with uh, the halo series itself the, the female characters that they present are unlike any other female character in the, the previous past 10 15 years in gaming they look more masculine look more gender neutral you can see that with this character right here you, you see this with uh, many characters from xbox properties where females are no longer uh, cur curvaceous and feminine they're more masculine and male i think you see this with fable series uh, most decidedly but i think that is the point that we're seeing now is a more masculinized version of feminine beauty that is being made the standard all throughout society and it has to be made the standard in gaming as well and so that's why we get this product inclusion standards from such a gigantic corporation like microsoft because they're trying to impose these societal standards that are being directed to them by political factions and the overall power structure of the world and that's why we have these kind of rolling effects that have affected the video game industry you can see this with some of the overall talks from consultancy firms and from government committees when they're talking to these developers you saw with naughty dog when they talk uh, to, to many activist groups about the the overall femininity in video games and wanted to make a lot of the female characters more masculine to, to be more friendly to these lgbtq communities you can see that happening with last of us too where they talk directly where they said they made a lot of the female characters more masculine to be more friendly to these other communities to be more open and accepting to these uh, more marginalized communities and it's bearing out fruit throughout the video game industry where we're getting these masculinized versions that kind of have this overall unfeminine look that is uh, the antithesis of what the majority of gamers are used to even want to play and that's why we have these failures in gaming and that's why we have stellar blade ascending where it is going and flying in the face of these political agendas that are being established in the gaming industry and it is funny if you read some of the standards that are put in place where they're just mostly trying to eliminate any gender
gender identifying aspect of a woman in video games and when you read the bullet points it becomes extremely clear that is the the goal of this product inclusion standard policy that is being implemented throughout all of xbox and microsoft games let me read some of it and i'll give you my thoughts on it are you reinforcing any negative gender stereotypes this is the question they ask are you unnecessarily introducing gender or gender barriers into your code or design are you creating playable female characters that are equal in skill and ability to their male peers? Are your female characters equipped with clothing and armor that fits their tasks? Do they have exaggerated body proportions? When the story allows, do you show male characters who display a full range of emotions, including joy, sadness, and vulnerability? And this is where you get the, the feminization of men. You saw this probably with Spider-Man 2 and Peter Parker, where he was more feminized in that game, not as manly and less masculine, even though the character model as well. And I think you see this developing throughout the industry, where there's a switching of roles there, where they feel like this is in line with the, the gender politics occurring in the Western world. And I I think this is the standard that they're setting right now where they they want to flip the balance right there and i think for purposes that many people really truly don't understand but that is just the trend now in the overall political nature of this world and it seems like microsoft is following that trend and it's and it's clear that is uh what the the development standards all throughout the western world is following right now but let's continue on and that is uh the case with uh, a lot of developers nowadays they're rallying against what they call objectification but in reality they're even going further than that they're going more so towards this gender neutral ideal and i think it's flying in the face of the, the people that actually want to play these games where we're getting characters that are just not characters anyone wants to be people want to be in a fantasy world no one wants to be this sort of character that kind of just is engrossed in modern day politics where people are just wanting to escape from this reality that they have to face every day where things are being thrown in your face and i think that's why it's invading this space because this is the escapism of people in this modern world people want to be in a different world and these people these politicizing groups and action committees they want to draw you back in they want to influence your mind even in the fantasy world and i think that's what's eventually happening with gaming right now that's why stellar blade is getting the attention it needs right now because people are like okay finally someone's just making things that are appealing to me that look beautiful that is fun and it's not trying to draw me back in into this modern political debate and i think that is what's occurring with microsoft kind of banning curvaceous women banning anything with a a, a strong male protagonist focusing on things that have nothing to do with making a good game and i think that's what the product inclusion standards are there for it's there to eliminate anything that is like stellar blade so that's why i say this is banning any stellar blade like game where it's focused on the aesthetic beauty of the female where it's trying to to promote these concepts of just drawing the male gaze in and making money actually and i think that's why i said xbox is probably going to be the system that is destroyed most by these western standards but because they can't change they, there's no way they can change because microsoft is heavily influenced by these product inclusion standards that have been established throughout the world and they're immune to the losses that they'll make from the xbox gaming and i think that's why we're eventually going to see this sort of situation expand in xbox and never end and i think we're going to see less and probably zero percent uh, of uh, the female beauty that we see from stellar blade to ever enter an xbox game and i think it's pretty clear already when you see halo and fable and some of these other games they have avoided this and they're probably gonna avoid any sense of beauty for the next decade or so that's why i say the concept of stellar blade or anything that has those beautifying features is likely to be banned on xbox but it will come to pc and i think that is the least you can ask for a stellar blade game so that's my thoughts on the situation tell me what you think about the the concept of stellar blade being banned on xbox because of these product inclusion standards it's to be expected xbox and microsoft is such a big corporation it's heavily influenced by these un agendas these political agendas that are being established throughout society so it makes sense that they follow these standards but you leave a comment tell me what you think like share and subscribe this is wagner knows why catch you next time